at least I hope, and I sincerely hope, that Hammond's got the message that he is not wanted. I'm looking for someone that will, will not sit down across the table and talk to George Starrick before he decides whether he should file a case or not. I'm looking for someone that uh, the lawyers don't have to go by him before they can file a suit. If they see the need to file a suit for the poor, I think they should have the, their own prerogative to do so. I don't have a prepared statement right now, and uh, I really hadn't thought about much to say in response to what happened yesterday. But uh, suffice it to say, I'm not quitting. The pickets say they gave you 31 days, and that was ample time to prove yourself. Uh, what is your response to this, and, and what do you feel their chief complaint is? Uh, again, not very too much prepared statement. I, I'm just not quitting. There's, there's a lot that I uh, have to do administratively and to get this office in the shape where I think it uh, would function a lot better. That was the purpose of my trip to San Antonio. But uh, I'm working closely with the judges and the bar and uh, I'm going to try to meet with the people in the target area. They seem to think you're more attuned to the people in the bar, the judges, etc., than you are to the poor people themselves. Well, I'm older. Uh, put it this way, I've practiced law for 15 years and it's uh, I know what I'm doing. The picketers say they'll stay till September 21st, and James Hammond says he'll stay on the job too. So now it's up to the full board of the Dallas Legal Services to decide who will win out. Ethelyn Gilbert did say her group would support Hammond if the board does. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Judy Hanna.